Dear Samarjia family, Dear Bato, Maya, Luca, Marco and Philip, Please receive our deepest condolences for the loss of your father and grandfather, for the loss of the pastor of Seventh-day Adventist Church, in the name of South East European Union Conference of Churches, and in my personal name and in the name of the family Stanić. I apologize in the beginning for my English, but I hope you will understand me. Blagoje was born in a small village called Grabikilova, which is located near Prnjavor, small town in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Republic of ex-Yugoslavia. He was born to father Mika Samarja and mother Jovanka, born Stanić. He had a brother Milorad, and sisters Milka, Vida, Ljubica, Georgina and Radmila. He lost his father in his early childhood. And this experience, I think, that shaped his entire life. We can found in his book, one of his earliest books, Yeshuvia Kimanade, or The Still Hope, which is my favorite book, that he is describing his experience. We can read in it. I stood by the window and watched my father leaving. The winter was strong. The snow was deep and father was walking heavily. I followed him with my eyes for a long period of time until he disappeared in the distance. I didn't think at that moment that I was watching him for the last time. But he never came back home and I never see him again. This tragic experience from his childhood led him to start asking many deep questions about life, about death, about the meaning of our existence about God, about suffering, about pain, about relations with other people. Why was this, ha this happened? He asked himself, himself. He loved him so much, but he, he lost him. But as he wrote in his biography, short book, Staza Maviere, instead of hatred, and the desire for revenge in his childish soul was born the desire to comfort those who suffer and those who experienced pain in their life. Very early he understood the pain and sorrow and he was asking himself, how can I help others around me? to alleviate human misery and to reduce the weight of despair of the people around him. And with these words we could, exp we could express, we could describe his life and his work. His deep personal religious experience permitted his entire life. He lived to share with others what he found in Jesus Christ, to share this hope, to share the meaning, and to share, to share the fullness of light. He wrote and spoke about it, he counseled and advised, he directed other people to watch, to look to Jesus Christ. As he said during one of his interrogation in the army in communist Yugoslavia to the officer Simic, he said, I was born in a family with real faith. At this moment, I'm a religious person and I will die, I will die as such. And we can be happy and we can, we can understand, we can um, receive this blessing of his life 
even though we lost him. After the army, he got a job, he worked and studied, he graduated from theological school Rakovica near, near Belgrade, today Serbia, in 1957. Three years later, he married Liljana Dedic. With her, he got a son, Radomir Michael Bata. He was ordained as a preacher of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1964. He worked in many places in ex-Yugoslavia, like Sarajevo, Novi Sad, Shabbat. After that, the family moved to Paris, France, and after that, they moved to New York, where he ended his fruitful ministry as a pastor and writer. Books and learning were an inseparable part of Blagoje's identity. He spoke English and French, completed a master degree at Andrews University, and he wrote thousands of pages that became books and found their readers around the globe. Blagoje's mother, Jovanka, and my grandfather, Savko, were brother and sisters. sister. We have a common ancestor, Alexa. Alexa was Blagoje's grandfather and my great-grandfather. Alexa was the first believer in that village, in that area. The last days of his life, Alexa was ill and he spent time in bed. One of his neighbors, named Spasoje, talked that um, this was because of his faith and that uh, with the death of Alexa, his new faith for that region, his new faith would also die. Few months before, few months ago, Blagoje wrote me an email and he asked me to write with him one small paper about this experience. He wanted to prove, to prove that uh, the fate of Alexa continued to many people, to many children, grandchildren, and generation, and even two of his descendants, of Alexa descendants, Blago and Jalimir, are pastors of Seventh-day Adventist Church. I had the opportunity also to work with him uh, by organizing the distribution of his books in his, in his hometown. Blagoje was firm and determined. He knew what he wanted and he didn't allow himself to be moved from that direction. I feel proud in a special way that I was able to continue the ministry of Paris Church Ivry sur Seine, where Blagoje was also pastor, and not just pastor, he was founding pastor, and he was he built actually this building with church members of that community. Blagoje left a lasting impact, not only on his family and relatives, but on the entire church where he served and to all the people whom he touched with his, with his pen and with, with his life. I'm sad that uh, I didn't have more opportunities to work, to cooperate, to spend time with him. And that is one more reason, because we are longing for new heaven and new earth, which God promised he will make. At this moment, we are sad, we have a big loss in our life, but this is only for a short period of time. We await the re resurrection of death and the life of the age to come. In the name of Jesus, be blessed.